All right, Gold Rush fam, what's up? It's Chase Pammy, of course, right? Welcome to this week's announcements for the mine for Gold Rush Wrestling. So, a very exciting week, very emotional week for a lot of kids. A lot of people got what they wanted. A lot of people they didn't get what they wanted, but that's kind of what happens in, in, in sports, right? So, I'm going to take a moment just to talk about the Nevada High School State Championships, give you guys some statistics, give you guys some breakdowns on how our kids did. Um, so we qualified 74 wrestlers to the state tournament. And out of those 74 wrestlers, 70% of our kids placed, which from the data side of things, really, really good, right? Big problem if we qualified 74 and only like 20% placed. But so congratulations to all of our qualifiers. All right. That's a big feat in and of itself. Um, those that went there and didn't place, didn't get what you wanted. Hey, just keep climbing the ladder, keep climbing the ladder. Right. But 70% of those kids qualified uh, or 70% of those kids placed. We had, here's the numbers. Try to remember them. We had 19 state champs. We had 14 runner ups. We had 33 state finalists, 51 state placers. That's total. That's boys and girls together. All right. Now we break them out. We got nine girls who were state placers. Excuse me. We had six, nine girls who were state placers, 42 boys who were state placers. That's how those numbers break out. We had six girl state finalists and four state champion girls, nine girls placed. We had 42 boys place. Um, and then we had 15 state champs on the boys side and 12 runner ups. Those were a lot of numbers. I can't even keep track of all of them. But the important thing is we had about 70% qualify, 19 state champs, 14 runner-ups, 33 state finalists, 51 state placers. We'll go with that. That's an easy way to remember it. So, guys, congratulations. Great feat. So many boys and girls who have been here for multiple years and to see them place and, and achieve their goals, man, it was such an emotional thing. Um, few of them almost made me cry. But uh, I, I'm I'm so proud of our kids, and and I'm really just excited for them. All of them who wrestled the state tournament, they gave their maximum effort. Um, so we keep working though. Time we're not taking no time off. We're jumping back in. Gym will be open all this week with normal normal times. A lot of off season work to do. Not off season work. A lot of freestyle Greco work to do. We got to get better, right? We always we always work to get better. We wrestle, we win, we get better. We lose, we get better. It it, it goes both ways. So. We'll have normal schedule this week. Two more announcements for high school, okay? So high school meeting next week, I'll put out a text message on the group me. We're going to have a meeting with our nonprofit um, director, Tara Huyman, and we'll talk more in depth about how you guys can utilize the nonprofit to help you offset your travel costs because there are a lot of travel costs in the off season or in the freestyle Greco season. That schedule is going to be released on Wednesday. I will send out that schedule on Wednesday. You can look that over. We will talk about which tournaments, but we want to make sure that we provide ways for all of our kids who want to get to these tournaments. We give them opportunities to work for that. So we will have a meeting next week. I will finalize that meeting time and date. Um, I'll finalize that time and date uh, this week. Okay. And high school, if you guys have any Pictures from this weekend, group pictures, whatever. We'll do our best to get everybody up there, okay? There, there, there's a lot, but we're going to try and do our best to get everybody up on a reel. And uh, we should be able to do that. Send your media to goldrushwrestlesocialmedia at gmail.com. It'll be in the comments below. So look in there or also look in your email. Send those pictures, guys. We want to celebrate these kids. Really, really exciting weekend. Um. As far as I already said that the high, high school Greco freestyle Greco season, that stuff will be released this week. So you guys will have that as well as our youth kids. They will have that as well. We've got, we've got a busy schedule for both weekly schedule this week. Everything's normal central, nothing changes. All right. So we got normal schedule at Northwest Southwest. I made a mistake. There's no practice on Monday night. The school is closed. So you will go Monday, Tuesday, you will go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week. That's when you guys will go with the satellites, okay? And tournament this weekend is in Moapa. Hey, I'll be there. Going to be there to uh, watch our kids, coach them, help them out. If you guys do want to go, uh, go ahead and we'll do weigh-ins on Wednesday, Thursday. 
There's like 30 of you guys, 32 of you guys, I think, going to Reno this weekend. So good luck up there. You'll be up there with Coach Shergani, Coach Gavin, Coach Nix, and Coach Rudy. Great tournament to just see some different competition, right? See some different boys and girls from California, Washington, Oregon. You see some of those kids, which we don't get to see a lot. But good luck to all those. As you guys know, going to Reno, you got to make flat weight. You got to make hard weight. So make sure you know which weight you're going and your, your, your kids know and you get them all set up for that. We will continue to focus on folk style until after the state tournament. A little bit of Greco freestyle before then, but really our focus right now is folk style. I, we are a specialty program, so we do specialize in making sure that our kids are learning one style and doing really well in those styles. So we will put a heavy emphasis when we hit freestyle Greco season. We'll put that emphasis when we get to freestyle Greco season. We do a lot of freestyle, a lot of Greco. It's my favorite style but we also have to wrestle folk style. So just be ready for that in the off season. We'll have plenty of tournaments and some that'll be a little closer. Um, the schedule doesn't show all the tournaments we have. There'll be a couple in California. We're still kind of finalizing that for our youth kids. Okay. Um, spring registration for freestyle Greco season is going out on Wednesday. Okay. We have a large number of people trying to get into gold rush wait lists. So you need to make sure that you're filling out your form and getting that thing done. Reminder, you do not get charged until April, okay? But we need to know if you're res registering for those classes so we can open up wait lists, so we can let people in from, from other our other locations, from D1, from some of the other classes we have. So get that done. After two weeks, there is a price jump, all right? Do not wait till the end to register. Get that done as soon as you can, okay? After two weeks. There'll be a price jump on those registrations. So just hit that form. And even if you're not sure, go in and do it. Okay. Just so you have your spot secured for the uh, freestyle Greco season, which will start in April. High school. Just remember this. We will do away with punch cards in the fall this year. We'll continue to do punch cards through the spring and the summer here. But as we get into the fall, we will do away with the punch card system and move to a part-time system, full-time system. More of that to come. Skin check, skin check, skin check. I tell you guys every week, we'll be checking skin this week as we get closer to some of these tournaments, SNWA and freestyle or folk, uh, uh, state tournament. We'll do skin checks, but I need you guys to be skin checking as well. You, if your kid has something, they need to come and tell us, right? Because when this stuff starts spreading, it spreads fast and it's hard to stop. We clean our mats. Our gym is clean every single day. Our mats are cleaned every day, twice a day, often. And our bathroom, everything's clean, all right? So I'm a neat freak. I am super meticulous about things being clean, but make sure that you're checking your kid's skin, okay? Got to, got to make sure that's done. And tournament times, guys, I know this is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, tournament times change on a dime, so I don't have any control over that. Uh, I put in a request just to make sure, hey, like this is this is hard for a lot of our parents. Um We'll see what comes of that, but I don't have any control of that. So kind of roll with it. We're almost at the end of the season. So a couple, couple weeks left, but apologize. I, I'm not going to apologize because I didn't do anything on that, but just know that we don't have much control from the club side. Gear store is open. Guys, go ahead, get your freestyle Greco gear. And if you want freestyle Greco singlets, you want shirts, you want sweaters, stuff like that. We're going to keep that thing open. We're going to keep updating that store. You guys can get in there and do drop shipping. Uh, if you decide to order and you want it shipped to the gym, we will do a pickup every other week and we'll have that stuff on Fridays. I'll pick it up every Friday so you can pick it up on Mondays and you'll have your gear here at the gym. All right. But get those gears in. If you want that stuff before the SNWA championships, got to get that done ASAP, like by Wednesday ASAP. Okay. Otherwise, if you just want those singlets, you're good. Um, you, you know, you can have those for practice. Team Nevada gear. I sent out a video. There's another video on YouTube. Go and watch it to explain how Team Nevada works and how the Team Nevada gear stuff works, okay? So go and look at that if you need to see. You, you weren't clear on all that. Go back and check that video. If you have any questions, reach out to me or Coach Sergani. Last thing, upcoming events. Rumble in Reno is coming up this week. I already said that. Go get it, kids. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go make it happen. Go give your best effort. And Moapa this weekend. SNWA Championships next weekend is March 2nd will be folk style. And then Sunday, March 3rd will be freestyle Greco. Freestyle Greco, 
hey, we haven't wrestled it much, but let's just kind of get a taste of it. Okay, even if you're not sure, do the best you can. We'll we'll, we'll make sure kids have some idea of what they're doing going out there. But we want to get a little taste before we get to the off season. So go ahead and wrestle freestyle Greco. And then last thing, the state tournament is in Fallon. Coach Sergani has sent out a form for you guys to fill out. I need you guys to, we need you guys to fill that out, right? We need to know who's going. We need numbers, et cetera, et cetera. And Hey, let's go get this. Let's, 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 uh, let's, let's get everybody registered and, and go into the state tournament. We want to go up there and, and do some damage and just continue to, um, showcase our skills from the year, showcase what we've done, showcase our work, allow our kids the opportunity to showcase their work, not again, not just against kids locally, but also against the whole state. So fill out that form, get registered online, and we'll look forward to having a great time up in Fallon. We will have a team get together that night as well. I think we're going roller skating or bowling or one of those kind of things. I'm not sure. It's Fallon, Nevada. Who knows what's in Fallon, Nevada, but we'll uh, we'll have some fun. All right. So that's all I got for this week's announcements. I need to get better at looking at the at the video part and not the screen because it looks like I'm looking at me, but I know it looks like I should be looking at you. That didn't make any sense, but I need to do a better job of looking at this thing right here. So, all right, guys. Hey, have a great week. This is the mind. Keep mining for gold. Get to the next best place. I'll see you guys this week.